Can we, can we begin by talking about double acts? Yes. And uh, maybe you, you talk about some of your favourite double acts. A lot of the a double acts as such I don't seem to work in the same way that we work. I mean, like, like Eric B and Rakim and yeah. Karis and, um, and Scott LaRock and people like that, it was very much purely because in them days, although they, like the MC was the front man, it had traditionally been the producer. But, it, do you know what I mean? It was very much... Are, are there KRS are one records are really and they're a Rakim records rather than Eric B yeah, having yeah. anything to do with it. Whereas the way we work is far more, it's an equal yeah yeah a, a leveling and, and and we go back and forth. It, and we have a lot of them guys. You get the impression, particularly with KRS, it would have just been here's a beat playing and he'll go over the top. There's often that dynamic of uh, one being the the front, the leader or the controller. Yeah. And, and when you look at comedy as well, you. Always think of uh, not particularly good comedy, but it's look at Gavin and Stacey, Horn and Corden. Yeah. You always get the feeling that Horn's the boss, yeah. but it's Corden. It's yeah. Corden all the way. He yeah. writes. Mm -hmm. He he was the funny one. Matt Horn's just a, yeah. a straight man for yeah. it. And Morecambe and Wise mm. as well. That you, I don't know. You, there's a definite leader and. So a teacher and pupil sort of thing. So do you do you have that relationship? Is there a boss? Is there a well, lead? he's definitely the face in that sense. He's, he's or the beard, as it as, as it's more yeah. definable. And and you you drive more of the content, the the actual the stuff to talk about with yeah. with non music. Fans. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. The stuff that's easiest yeah. to talk about because I do the lyrics. So, yeah. so, so yeah. there's instantly subject matters and things to discuss. Whereas yeah. Uh, musically, there's tons uh, to discuss as well. It just you, you, you have to be chips. a music fan. No, no the word the word <coughs> hip hop. Mm. You know, I think you've said before uh, that it, it means so many different things to so many different people. Yeah. Was was there a world where you both found that you thought of it in the same way, which was also enabled en enabled you in a way to come together? Yeah, I think our areas of hip hop that we come to is overlap. Quite, overlap. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we we both into what. In a literal sense, what we're into is very similar with the Sage Francis stuff and Aesop Rock and that sort of collegey, rucksacky hip hop. Um, well, it's quite liberal thinking and not too braggadacious, but yeah. that we like that in hip hop because that mm. reflects who we are. Neither of us are exactly mm. bling, and I, I would have thought our clothes add up to about <laughs> 80 quid between yeah, us, maybe. If that, if that do you think the compulsion on a certain sort of, 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 of you know, homegrown mm. hip hop is, 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 comes from the American idea and the, and, 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 and the patterns that are established there and somehow there's a sense that they've got to copy that or it isn't hip hop yeah. as such? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's whichever one comes across or, or is easiest to export. I mm. mean, mm. A, a, a gangster rap and then just not even gangster but just more a braggadocious is the mm. stuff that comes over the most. So. You, you you have that weird a juxtaposition a position of people are doing that kind of rap, but not with these big expensive videos mm. on council mm. estates mm. on mm. Channel yeah. U, and mm. it's like you can't be doing yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a braggadocious hip hop but on a, a phone cam kind of thing. It doesn't really come. That yeah. it's a really weird but is it, is contradiction. It like it's an oxymoron. Something about how we learn to make music. So yeah. for the first time you get given a guitar, you get taught Amazing Grace. Mm. So mm. you get taught to imitate it to learn other mm. things so yeah. the, those producers coming up through the east end of london the first thing they're going to do is try to yeah. mimic those songs that they love so yeah. sort of a it's a passionate response and although sometimes they're not aware enough to think actually this makes no sense i'm going to ask you a question about what i like to call 0 0.2 which was your rating in pitchfork yes um, that was interesting because there is a world that from the outside that maybe nobody had actually heard what you were doing and really experienced it, that they would have thought, yeah, I figured, you know, i.e., if I may be so bold, you know, um, Goldie looking chain, yeah, tenacious yeah, D, yeah, that, yeah, that yeah, area where yeah, it can yeah, just be the novelty, can be the, the, the laugh. And clearly the Pittsfork review decided that's what it was. The one thing that annoyed me, and I had to, to bite my lip on responding and oh, answering yeah, back, because that's always the, the, yeah, um, the suicide, because yeah. you just oh, look like an idiot. Yeah. But it had one thing of... Um, he was saying, a uh, number one, he pointed out that, uh, 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 that the lyrics in Thou Shout contradict themselves, which <gasps> oh, is no the way. whole point of it. It's kind, it's kind, it's not really. That, oh, it's yeah. hard to figure out. But he 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 made a point of saying that 
I say that the guns of bitches and bling aren't part of hip hop, yet I praise a Johnny Cash who mm -hmm. sings about guns mm -hmm. all the time. But the very nature of that is just it's poorly researched and inaccurate because J J J Johnny Cash is country and the genre of country was started and based on telling stories of who you've killed and you know to mm. to build a reputation things like that whereas hip hop was started <coughs> as the exact opposite it was started to bring with call her and Africa Bambara and that to bring um her projects to together and give them a way to either just interact or, or battle over turntables and mics rather than uh, with guns and knives mm. and fists so the mm. whole point of that was that one was started to not be about guns that's why it's kind of irrelevant to that. And country was like, that's, that's what it's about. It's different uh, mm. genres. I'm not mm. saying that uh, we should never speak of guns <laughs> and, and never utter their name. But I, I've always felt with that review that the people who read it and just take it for granted and mm. walk away weren't going to like us anyway, weren't going to yes, buy the record anyway. But what about the idea of, uh, which you must have been aware of, the, the, the goldie looking chain cul-de-sac and the idea yeah. that it would just be yeah, I mean, a, a we. Uh, uh, a, a thou shout just came out of nowhere so, so quick, and it wasn't what the pop charts are traditionally used. And the video was made for two, and it all mm. for two hundred quid, and it all just kind of came, came out of nowhere. So there was always that element of people assuming we're a, a, a novelty. But I mean, that's one of the reasons uh, we didn't uh, rush uh, the album out. Mm. There was encouragement to get an album out immediately, but we took a year to write and put the album because we were aware yeah. that uh, we're not here to just go quick. A cash in and do something. We love music and want to keep making music. We've had some level of success, but not yeah. just letting what comes out come out and be happy with that and not mm. try to bend that to fit some perception. And, and maybe with Goldie Looking Chain, when you listen to um, the first album, the production's really quite mm. fun mm. and exciting, mm. and there's no reason why they couldn't have gone on to. Mm be working on other projects and, and just writing pop yeah. songs or whatever. Yeah. But because they decided we've got to now equal that. But it, is it also in a, in a funny sort of way a disadvantage to be funny, even though the satirical and the, and the witty edge of hip hop yeah. is also an important element, but by being funny uh, and obviously blatantly funny in a much more English way, or, yeah. you know, literally with your, your psychedelic back reference to Edward Lear, etc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That itself, itself is a danger. I think putting elements of humour in any kind of writing is is a real a, a, a yeah. positive thing and particularly when we address so much dark and serious stuff mm. I think it's essential for me as a writer mm. I need to have that so that number one I'm not going absolutely insane performing these songs every night that are mm. all about self-harm and suicide <laughs> and misery and, like, mm. and it's just it's it's to make it it's the it's the sh a sugar to, uh, to make the pill easier to uh, yeah. Uh, swallow yeah yeah, yeah. Hopefully. It, it, it's that idea which I, I kind of hold to sometimes that the Bonzo Dog Doodah band were actually better than the Beatles. Yeah. yeah. And in that story of pop, you know, you, you fit into that, I think. Yeah, yeah, know. yeah, yeah. And yeah. labels have got it, it wrong anyway. The reason it's when acts are allowed to be themselves that people fall in love with them. Everyone, uh, 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 or, or Amy Winehouse has become as famous as she is because it's such a juxtaposition between mm. the way she sings and mm. the songs she performs and this weird little character there's and, and people like Adele and, and Paloma Faith. I love the fact that, the, that their labels haven't tried too hard because you can't edit them in interviews. They're yeah. still going to be... Yeah. Oh, and just they're going to yeah, have real yeah, yeah. strong characters coming through. Yeah. And they can uh, polish the videos and the music and the albums as much as they like. But people will become really loyal to them mm. because of the people they are and their odd little quirks and personalities, yeah, yeah. Mm. which is great. Can, can I ask you a question? As music nerds and as music lovers, yes. are, are very much at the moment, you know, we're just surrounded. It's a glut of music. It's just, yeah. it's just everybody does it because they can. And the idea that you contribute by putting anything out at the moment, you're basically contributing to a glut, mm. whether it's cheap thrills or deeper thrills. It's still a glut. So yeah. I, I wonder what you feel about that, whether you're just joining in the glut or you still feel there's a way that something important and something that has an impression upon people in a serious way can still exist. Well, for me, mm. I want to make music and put out records and it's tough to criticise I mean we were uh, discussing this on uh, on the radio the, the, uh, the other day about how there are certain people and certain sounds that it will be you're making it just to sell loads of records and you're selling your soul in a way but in general in a way we're all in the same boat because although we're right. only uh, putting out music because we have a passion to make this music if you're releasing music as you said you are adding to that glut and so it, it's it's it, it's inescapable, but you shouldn't restrict 
you know what I mean? Mm. What you want to do, or, mm. or, or what you're making mm. uh, uh, to avoid that, that could stop uh, the next Bob Dylan or whoever making music because yeah. they will be the people who are more conscious of mm. that and thinking, no, nah, it's ridiculous mm. now. I'm not mm. going to make it because, which would be, a, mm. you know, a tragedy. Um, but that that glut, the, the the machine that's behind music now, the the the, the thing that feeds Fern Cotton everything to play. <laughs> um, people forget that with. Fern Cotton makes Radio 1, that, that daytime stuff makes Radio 1 listened to by millions of people, which in turn makes it valid and worth the taxpayers' money, which means Hugh Stevens gets a salary, which means Zane Lowe gets a salary, which means Rob the Bank gets a salary. Mm -hmm. and, mm, and they can find and Yeah, us little kids get to turn on Hugh and go, wow, wow, what's that label? Wow! Mm. You know, and it's, um, let, let the glut mm. happen. Mm. I mean, I was working at, at H&B when the uh, uh, first uh, when it James, came out. Or, oh, yeah, right, when the right, first right. James Blunt one came out originally uh, on the first release, and it wasn't huge, and it was all the kids who were buying a, a, a Damien Rice and yeah, the yeah. more the more slightly a uh, left field yeah. guitar that were buying it like this is the best thing ever. Funny uh, the, the way we get so um, sensitive about yeah. uh, about mm. about whether if we attach ourselves to one particular thing, it somehow you know makes us look completely stupid. So mm, yeah. You know, I had arguments with people about Coldplay, you know, sort of. As if somehow if I admitted I might like Coldplay, if I admit I might like Coldplay, somehow that would make me a lesser being, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's and I, I get swayed with Coldplay by the people who like them as well. Mm. Like, um, yeah, that's the key thing. Isn't Simon it? Yeah. Pegg was on uh, Six Music talking, mm. and he played us on. The, he had a two-hour yeah. show. He played us, but he also played Coldplay. Yeah, and it made me think. <laughs> I might be missing something here. You know, if, if you're talking about the ideal radio show and what you would be, I guess this is an awful question along the idea of if you like this, you like this, or your influences, yeah. but I'm going to go ahead with it anyway. If there was a radio show and you were amongst, you know, the kind of things you ideally in your head mm. when you think about what you do would want to be positioned, you know, what, what would be the things around you? I mean, for me, it is a lot of more um, uh, um, American based, but a lot of underground hit well, people mm. like a POS, um, Sage Francis. Mm. Like I'd, at the label, we released uh, uh, released angles on in America. St st strange, famous mm. um, is just a f a, a for me everything that I've heard from that label and releasing that is stuff that I'm into and mm. think is great, uh, which is rare for me because I've never had that great loyalty with labels. There's always been labels yeah. I like, and, but and, there's and, a lot on there. And I don't strange, like. famous. Does that make you something then? Does that make you a genre? Um, in a way, but it, I, I mean, a strange, famous had a bit of a backlash because we aren't. We don't f plug into that exact yeah. genre and sound mm. because a thou shout was tongue in cheek, and there are some mm. lines which aren't that poetic. They mm. are quite having a laugh and messing around, and they had a bit of a thing with that. But it was a, a, a great uh, that's that's a sage was just like, well, I like this album. I think mm. it's got, you know, if you it, it's not the same as all the other stuff that's on on our label, but it's coming from the same place, mm. you know, emotionally and yeah, and 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 mentally. I think. Yeah, mm. and what is that genre then? The strange, but what Again, it's, it's all un it's, it's just underground. Yeah, it's hip hop, but it is very we much. To, we have to add these words. Yeah, but it's conscious. But is it conscious? Like yeah, conscious. Yeah, 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 it's conscious. But yeah. again, conscious hip hop is something that I now uh, lean away from because people like the common and all that just it got a, a, a very a, a noodly yeah, for yeah, a while yeah. and mm -hmm. got a, a very overly spiritual yeah, and things like that. So a lot of people will put conscious hip hop with uh, extremely spiritual and yeah. and things like that. So it's really but it's a shame that the genre possible. names aren't better in a way. Like I'd yeah. rather have just conscious or yeah, just you yeah, know yeah. chocolate. Yeah, yeah. The idea that yeah, somehow because it moves it would move stuff. That yeah, was, they, they've become very scientific, haven't they? You know? Yeah, because the the genre name is often the the core name. The hip hop yeah. is often something about tempo mm. and, and the musical mm. style. Um, and if we lose that word and just have the word conscious, mm. we can mm. bring Billy, Billy Bragg next yeah. to yeah. Sage yeah. Francis and, yeah. Yeah. and put 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 what you should be listening to as yeah. a full. And if you go through be. your record collection, my record. And here, so you will find mm. a theme in mm. there, mm. and it might, might you might have to dig very deep, mm. but there is something in mm. there yeah. that um, will tie it all together. Yeah, uh, uh, and it's it's something we get all the time. I mean, even t uh, today, we get people on Facebook and MySpace on saying, "I don't normally listen to hip hop, yeah. but," yeah. and it's like, "Well, that shouldn't be a restriction. A genre yeah, yeah, shouldn't yeah. be a restriction." And it is kind of yeah. we're putting yeah, them right. kind of names. Yeah. It is a restriction. Yeah. And even I guess if we stripped it to conscious and things like that, mm. it had put a restriction yeah. on because people think yeah. I don't want to listen to something yeah. that's going to be preachy. And yeah. I mean, so it's, yeah. I, I long for the days 
a more or more when I worked in a, a record shop at work because it would have been easy, easier where you just have the music section and yeah. it's in alphabetical order well, A to Z yeah, as you simple see, as that. I'm an of, of an age where it, it still is everything is mm. file under pop. But yeah, it should just be music.